if you need to process a lot of photos, batch exporting is a huge time saver. You can use this type of workflow for a first pass client review, such as processing several photos from a wedding or fashion shoot. Or perhaps you have many images from a real estate or an event job that you need to get online right away. To create this automated workflow, you'll need to use perfectly clear through the export command. While in the library mode of Lightroom, select the images that need to be batch processed. You can shift click to select a range of images. You can hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC to select multiple images. The use of collections in Smart Collections can make it easier to organize a group of photos for batch processing. With a range of photos selected, choose File, Export. From the Export To menu, choose Athentech Perfectly Clear Complete V3. Now, let's set the Athentech Perfectly Clear Complete controls to guide the export workflow. Choose between User Presets or System Presets. This will give you access to the many presets that come with Perfectly Clear, as well as your own user presets for custom control. Choose from the bundled presets using the pop-up menu list. Choosing one will show you a description of which type of images will benefit from the preset. In this example, choose the Dehaze preset. To bypass the dialog box and speed up the export, check the box to hide the Perfectly Clear window. This will just apply the Perfectly Clear technology to the selected images and use full automation for the quickest results. If you'd rather look at each image and approve, then leave this box unchecked. If you're processing more than a few images, a batch process is greatly preferred because Perfectly Clear will automatically analyze each photo pixel by pixel. You can trust that you'll get a great looking image without having to manually adjust each photo. In the export location, Set the Export To menu to the Choose Folder Later option, which is most useful when creating a preset. This way you can run the export and it will prompt you to choose a location for the new files. If you want the batch processed photos to come back into your library, just check the box next to Add to this catalog. After the batch process is completed, both the original file and the perfectly clear image can be viewed in the library view. To avoid accidentally overwriting any existing files, be sure to select the Choose a New Name for the Exported Files from the Existing Files pop-up menu. You can use the File Naming section to choose from many presets on how to name the exported files. The next section controls what type of files are written. This is where you can choose the file type, color space, bit depth, and compression. For maximum quality, as well as future editing or printing, choose TIFF files with no compression, with an sRGB color space and a bit depth of 16 bits. If you want to export to the web, then a JPEG file works well. If you want to match the default color of Lightroom and intend to do further edits there, then choose ProPhoto RGB. In the file settings area, set the image format type to JPEG. Set the quality to 80% for a visually lossless file that is still reasonable to upload and download. For best results on the web, use the sRGB color space. Do not use ProPhoto RGB for the web, as it often leads to unusual color shifts in most web browsers. Now, in the image sizing area, let's create an image that's smaller for use in an online gallery. Check the box next to Resize to Fit and select Width and Height. You can now choose a Not to Exceed size. Enter a dimension of 1200 by 1200 pixels and set the resolution to 96 pixels per inch for screen use. You can also control which metadata is written to the file as part of the export by using the metadata controls. If you'd like to watermark your images for the web, simply use the watermarking controls at the bottom of the export workflow. Now, let's store this custom preset for posting web-optimized images. This could be useful for a client gallery or for sharing to social media, or perhaps your blog. In the Preset column, click the Add button. Name the new preset PCC Dehaze for Web. Choose to store this in your User Presets folder. Click the Create button to store the preset. You can now access this custom preset or any of the default system presets from the File Export with Preset menu 
for an even faster workflow. All right, let's export some optimized and enhanced photos. Look over your settings one more time to confirm that they are correct. In this case, we're using the dehaze preset, but you can use any user or system preset that you like. When you're ready to run perfectly clear, click the export button. You're now prompted to choose a location to store the exported files. We recommend creating a new folder to hold all of the exported images. Navigate to the desired location and click the Open button to start the export. You can track the progress of your export in the upper left corner. Click on the status bar to see even more details about the export. This concludes our look at batch exporting with Lightroom and Perfectly Clear. Thanks for watching.